In time for the holiday season 2025, here are seven of the coolest AI-driven gadgets this year that are truly changing the game. So welcome back to Dave is Not AI. My name's Dave, AI skeptic, AI expert. Let's get started. So put this together because I had some uh, people request that I uh, recommend some uh, retail things, things they can buy on the market or buy from Amazon, so to speak. So moving away from kind of the enterprise AI discussions in terms of consumables that are out there in the market that are clearly innovative things that you want to own, want to possess. And and obviously everything's AI enabled these days. I don't think you can find an appliance or a TV set or you know, anything that doesn't have AI that's going to be part of their DNA. But I think there are seven of them out there that take things to the next level. And I like to present those to you here. So the first gadget and mine's on the way right now, Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. So these look like ordinary Ray-Ban glasses, but add a hands-free photo and video capture, real-time translation, and on-the-go AI assistance, perfect for capturing life and getting uh, quick info without a phone. So in other words, they provide you with a virtual AI experience um, where you're able to look at something and basically capture it in the video and you're able to look it up uh, as to what it is, you know, how much it costs or the best price is if you're in a store or anything that you need. You know, for example, trying to identify a make and model of a car that you may see bike riding, just lots of cool applications for these glasses. Now, it doesn't do anything more than your phone does. Um, but it just provides you with an easier way to do it. So built in your glasses, you're able to augment what you see and what you hear with some AI capabilities. And I think that's just cool. And once I get those glasses, I'll review them for you and we'll talk about their capabilities. So next would be Roborock S8 Max V Ultra which is an AI robot vacuum. And of course, it's not just a vacuum. It's AI recognizes and avoids obstacles, you know, th things like pets, yourself, your shoes, uh, tangled cords, and learns the best clean cleaning routes for your home, delivering real autonomous cleaning with voice controlled precision. So if you've ever used a Roomba, uh, obviously the limitations there, I think some of them are, are basically touting it as being AI, uh, AI powered, but it runs around the room in some sort of a random pattern. As it, as it runs in obstacles, it'll react to running into those obstacles. So even though it's a robot, the capabilities of it were, were pretty primitive. And so with this vacuum, we're able to take AI and take the vacuum experience, if there is one, to the next level because it's able to learn about a room where it needs to go, how it's going to clean the room, and then run into fewer things and the ability to run around different obstacles, which obviously are going to be in the way of you having a very clean rug. So next gadget would be Time Kettle X1 AI Interpreter Hub. So this is a powerhouse for people who travel. This device provides near instant accurate translation for over 40 languages and works offline, breaking down language barriers for businesses and adventure. So one of the things that I get stressed out when I travel to another country um, is the use of the English language. I don't you know, learn the, the native language in the companies, countries I'm going to. So you're hoping you're gonna run into somebody who speaks English and sometimes that's possible and sometimes that's not. Obviously, we have Google Translate that it sits on our phone and we can, you know, talk into it and then uh, play the voice response back to someone we're trying to communicate with. But this is a much more seamless solution. This is something you wear around your neck and you're able to immediately translate what you're telling somebody and have translated back to you whatever they're telling you. And so it's going to be a much more seamless conversation. You know, obviously, there's other alternatives out there. I think uh, I Apple uh, with their new... Uh, uh, new earphones are able to do real-time translation and do it on the fly, and I hear that's pretty good as well. But this is a pretty good, seamless product for what it does, and I think people who are going overseas that need to do a lot of communication should have this. So next would be Furbo 360 Dog Camera, which is an AI pet camera. It's able to use AI to recognize and alert you to important pet activities, you know, barking, eating, Chewing your, chewing your carpet up, um, automatically records highlight moments and even tosses treats, you know, all from your phone or, or which really is going to be a peace of mind for 
you know, many of us who work outside the home and have to leave their pets alone for, you know, eight, 10 hours a day and your ability to check in on them, have a communicate, you know, moment of communication, just see what they're doing and also do something fun like that. You know, having a dispense a treat, that's kind of cool. And I, I kind of like that idea. And they use AI as the, the ability to do it, to spot the pets, what they're doing, the activities that they're doing and making sure you're alerted to, you know, anything that would maybe be a concern. They're damaging something or someone enters your house, you know, things like that. It's a peace of mind. And I recommend it if you're a pet lover, you work outside the home, this one's for you. So next would be Rewind Pendant. It's a wearable memory device that records your day's conversations and uses AI to make them searchable. Uh, so you re recall anything that you've heard. It's great for meetings or anyone who forgets details easily. I love this and I'm a big user of the AI assistant on Zoom when I'm having conversations with people and it gives me a summary of the conversation after the conversation is done. So I don't have to read through, you know, a huge transcript of us talking for 30 minutes, but it gets to the essence of what was said. And so wearing this around your neck and your ability to record conversations or basically monitor conversations and find a summary of those things, you know, using an AI based uh, based engine to make it happen. Pretty cool and pretty functional for people like myself. It seems like I'm talking to people all the time and saying things I want them to do or things that they want me to do. I want to be able to get things right that are communicated to me. And it'd be great if I could review, review the conversation afterwards. And also, more importantly, uh, when I communicate with somebody, uh, I want to make sure that they understand what I'm saying. And if something's missed, it's going to find that out. So it should provide better accuracy. I think you can be annoying with these, so be careful. But I like the fact that it's able to make our life easier and make us communicate better. So next would be Lenovo Visual AI Glasses V1. And again, these are smart glasses. Obviously, there's a trend here. Um, where everybody's trying to make uh, the smart glasses marketplace. The great thing about the smart glasses we're seeing today, including the meta ones we talked about earlier, is they're relatively cost effective. I think the sunglasses I paid for, which are prescription, by the way, and progressives, uh, is about $500. And that's how much you're going to pay for, you know, a good pair of sunglasses anyways, prescription sunglasses. And so we're starting to see more and more of these devices out on the market. I think it's going to be a good thing. So we're going to get to the pragmatic use of these things. So it's unlike Google Glass that we saw uh, 10 years ago, something like that, that ended up not taking off. It was way too expensive for what, what it was able to do. It didn't have the same capabilities. Now we have these things that really can add value to your life. So these glasses, very much like the meta glasses, delivers uh, dual micro LED devices and hands-free AI assistance, nudging toward the era of wearable computers for augmented work or entertainment experiences. So basically, what the meta glasses do, this does as well. So it's able to look at images. It's able to identify things. It's able to, you know, give you information directly within the glasses and without looking at your phone. And this is going to be fairly handy. And certainly, you know, if you're doing what I do and ride bikes around, things like that, navigation is going to be, you know, a, a core need. And if I'm able to look at the navigation uh, within my glasses versus looking down at the handlebars over and over again, that's going to be a safety advantage. So I, I think these are cool. Um, I am going to try a few of these things. I think after the first of the year, I'll report back to you if they're, they work for me or not. But take a look at these. So next would be AI smart home hubs, uh, such as Google Gemini powered speakers. And also there's un other hubs that are out there as well. Uh, most of them are AI delivered. I know the Amazon hubs, the Amazon Echo uh, that I believe they have out now. Um, which is the Amazon A word that I can't say because I'll, I'll, I'll trigger mine, um, are hooked up to AI systems like ChatGPT and, and Gemini and other LLMs. And it allows you to, in essence, get access to these things in a much more functional way. In other words, we're able to use IVR, interactive voice response to communicate with the hubs, communicate with the devices. We're able to ask a question, no matter how complex or simple, and it's able to provide us an answer. I use it all the time. It's in my car. You know, it's in my home and these things are really cool technology. So these smart speakers aren't just voice assistants anymore. They can manage complex routines, interpret commands with context and integrate with smart home ecosystems far more intelligently than ever before. So you got to remember, you know, these things had a fairly limited amount of value when they first came out. Everybody was using them. Pretty exciting technology. But as far as being able to control devices in your home, that was something that evolved shortly after that. And so in other words, thermostats and 
garage door openers and your car and all these things are hooked up to these devices now. So we're able to do things in a common interface using these hubs, you know, for IVR or we, I'm sure we could do it on our phone as well. You know, start a car in the morning to make sure it's warmed up, do so remotely, the ability to make sure our windows are closed, the ability to make sure our temperature is set at the right place, the ability to turn our oven on, all that stuff is available to you now through these hubs. And it's fairly inexpensive to relative to what they do. Many of the sensors are, you know, 10 to 30 bucks uh, that you're going to install. You know, the smart thermostats are $100 these days for a good one. And you're able to automate your home, which was something, you know, maybe 10 years ago, which, which was going to be about $10,000 with a relatively small fraction of that these days. I think they're cool. I think they're going to be a continued innovation in the market. You should take a look at them. So what about other AI-powered innovations, AI-powered gadgets out there? Well, there's many recent releases like AI-powered earbuds. We already talked about the ones from Apple, autonomous home robots and health monitoring wearables that are out there as well, and also becoming more smarter and more useful year by year. We all wear smart watches now. We all uh, you have phones on our side. We all you know, use uh, exercise and trainers that are hooked up to uh, systems that are allow us to monitor the production. We, our scales are hooked up, uh, which tell us how much we weigh or how much we've gained, how much we lost. And all these things really kind of are coming about as exciting things, I believe. Now, people will look at some of these AI things that are out there and certainly the wearables and certainly scales and things like that that tell you personal information and warn you pretty quick that, you know, you have to worry about your privacy uh, when these things are there. Absolutely you do. I'm not saying that you trust all of these devices. I just say that you look at them for the value that they're able to bring. And the fact of the matter is the prices are come down a lot on these things. So coming into the Christmas season, coming into the holiday season, we have a lot of options out there, are pretty cool gifts that we can get for our loved ones. So the best AI gadgets right now are the ones that uh, generally solve real world problems, hands free capturing, autonomous cleaning, real language translation and smarter ways to connect to your home or digital world. So it's worth investing in the winning categories right now. Now the prices have come down. They're huge value, I think. Uh, and they provide a huge amount of value to us. And if you use them correctly, you can augment your life. You can make travel easier, work easier, uh, you know, just puttering in the house easier, things like that. So take a look at some of these devices and see if they have a room uh, in your life and in your lifestyle. So skip the ones that feel, you know, just like a novelty. That's my other uh, recommendation out there. You're going to see ones out there that have AI powered, obviously a, everything's AI powered these days, that are going to be uh, look cheap. They're going to be cheap plastic. They're going to break pretty quick. So buy the quality devices, typically by the name brands that are out there. And, and again, it's going to allow you to take your life to the next level. And I think that's just great. Well, anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, check out my other videos here. Also, check out my full-blown generative AI architecture course out on GoCloud Careers, my 120 LinkedIn courses, LinkedIn learning courses, and of course, my latest book, An Insider's Guide to Cloud Computing. So until next week, you guys stay real safe. Bye.